Hi there. Uh, so today's hack is more about a dog training um, hack method that I came across online from a professional dog trainer. So please know that I'm not a professional dog trainer. I do not have a license, but this is something that um, my husband and I integrated um, and it has made a world of difference just within a month. So that's why I'm sharing it. So this is all about dogs with separation anxiety disorder. Uh, we have a dog named Bobo, and he's uh, he'll be three in November, and he, from the very beginning, has always had a lot of separation anxiety. Um, I think any dog owner that has a dog with separation anxiety will vouch and tell you that it is a very difficult process uh, with training, anything with potty training or just, you know, being away. And that's what I am going to to maybe possibly help you with. Uh, so this uh, method, again, I learned uh, from online, and it's to help with separation anxiety um, as a, in a whole. And it's made a big difference. So the first part of it is when you leave for the day, uh, and I know right now there's a lot of people working from home or maybe not working at all, but maybe just make a... a the point to just leave the house for a little bit, okay? But either way, when you leave the house, um, give a treat or a bone or some food and just make it okay time. You know, don't be sad that you're leaving um, and don't be super excited either. Just be very calm and say, you know, treat. And uh, don't even say bye, just once you give the treat, get up, take the eye contact away. It's all about eye contact too with dogs. But give the treat, take the eye contact away, calmly get your things, and calmly walk out the door and treat it as such, and just keep going. Uh, the first couple of days will be probably the same thing that you're used to, barking or whatever, uh, but just stick with it. It really helps, again, this is helping make leaving the house okay. It makes it a regular thing, like, okay, dad's leaving, and that's okay. Um, some dogs it will take longer than others. With Bobo, it took about a week, you know. I mean, granted, he is three. Um, if I would have integrated this a long time ago, oh God, I wish I would have. I didn't know, though. Um, the next part is when you come home, you just ignore them for about 10 or 15 minutes. Don't make any eye contact. Just walk in calmly. Uh, do whatever it is that you need to do, fold laundry or dishes or... Uh, whatever it is, change clothes, or just do something. Um, you know, you can even be on the phone or whatever if you need to, but just ignore them for about 10, 15 minutes. And then after that, you can calmly look at them and I'll, kind of, I'll use my dog's name and I'll just act it out so you can kind of see how I do it. And I'll be like, um, sorry, <laughs> stage fright. Uh, anyways, I'll be like, hello, Bobo. And I don't do it loud, I don't do it crazy, I'm just like, hello, Bobo, and I'll give him a pat on the head. Um, so I'm not like super like, hi, Bobo, you know, you just, uh, you, you just want to make it to where you're very calm. And that's after 10 or 15 minutes. Again, you just want to walk in and, in and ignore them because this makes coming home not exciting. It's not like treat time, you know what I mean? And you also don't want to take them outside immediately to go potty. They gotta wait for that 10, 15 minutes. And I know you, that may freak out a lot of dog owners, but I'm telling you, don't do it because every dog considers outside time, like treat time, exciting time. And you don't wanna do that. You want it to be mundane, boring time, okay? Like, because then it makes it so much, I mean, it just has this whole psychological effect on them. So I'm gonna, sh I'm in my garage because I just, you know, got home and I really wanted to show you the true reaction that I get now after doing this for a month. Again, Bubble used to go crazy, right? Um, so let me just show you. Oh, so you're probably like, where's the dog? He's right there. Okay, so He's just cool, calm, collected. He's not even coming over to me yet. Because he now knows that I'll come to him whenever I'm ready. 
Okay, so I know it's really hard as a dog owner to ignore your dog when you come home, but I'm telling you, it has a profound effect with separation anxiety because again, it makes it just like a normal mundane thing, you coming home. Again, give them a treat when you leave, uh, walk out calmly, and that makes leaving okay and rewardable, right? And then when you come home, don't give them a treat, don't just ignore them. And I'm telling you, like we've been doing, my husband and I have been doing this for a month and look what's happened. I mean, he used to go, you know, wagtail and all excited and that's great. But at the same time, the fact that he's so calm now is insane. And yeah, he's three, so he's growing up and that's gonna happen just with age too. But I'm telling you before, like a month ago, it was not like this. So I wanted to share that with you. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Put it in the comments. I'll try to reply if I can. Um, just again, it's a hack to me because it's made such a world of difference. And uh, so I consider it a hack. Um, I hope this helps and hope everybody's doing good and wish you guys all the best. Thank you.